I'm inspired to chat. I haven't chatted in a while. I've been disconnected from Snapchat a little bit, but a lot of my Snapchat family has been going through it. We have been going through it together. So I was inspired to chat about a topic that I've seen a lot of my Snap family members suffering from. So uh, one of the comments specifically had something to do with wanting to open up, wanting to talk to people, but having trust issues, being scared. I just resonated with her when she made that comment. It was like a paragraph of some words and I don't wanna like reveal all of what we shared together. I just wanted to uh, kind of chat a little bit and share my experience and my take on that. Opening up and talking about your issues, there's a freedom in that is what I've discovered. I started therapy, I've been doing therapy for some months now. I just, I decided to do prolonged therapy. Yeah, it was about to say chronic therapy. I've decided to do a prolonged therapy, so once a week, depending on how much I'm needing it, depending on what me and my therapist decide on on some days, um, because of, I've decided to do that because of a tremendous amount of obstacles I've experienced on my journey. Completely different life. Completely different breed of human. Than everyone else um, on my journey. So feeling like I can never open up and never talk. So I feel you with that. I feel you with that 100%. But in opening up and sharing your story, in opening up and sharing my story, I've learned that there are a lot of people out there that can connect with what I've experienced um, and what I've gone through, what I continue to go through. So there's freedom in opening up and being vulnerable, but there are setbacks. It's it's scary if you're if you're familiar with the business world, the retail world. Um, being in a state of vulnerability gives people the tools against you to go against you, and it's like, dang, I just wanted to confide in someone during a low point in my life. Now this is blackmail. So sometimes it's 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 better to keep quiet and keep things to yourself, but. A lot of the times, and I feel like you'll know, your gut will tell you when it's time to open up and reveal something to someone, someone that you feel like you can trust. Because like I said, there's freedom in it and there's fear that lies in staying the same, not changing, keeping things to yourself, being blocked off. That's what the enemy wants. He wants to keep you low. He wants to keep you down. He doesn't want you to be happy. He doesn't want you to thrive. So just, this is what I want. I want to help so many people because I've been at that point of just feeling like stuck. You're not stuck. You're paralyzed. Take action. So whenever I'm feeling trapped and stuck, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, I take action. So lately, uh, my actions have been going out, going for a drive. I was talking to my grandmother about that. I'm like, I don't know. I just, I wanted to drive today. Like I didn't have any intention of going anywhere to go buy anything. I just, I will drive. I'll have the windows down. I'll listen to a podcast, listen to music. And it just, it does something to my energy. It does something to my mood. So that's become a habit of mine. And she's like, well, have you realized, you know, you probably just like nature. I like to see greenery. And I was like, yep, that makes sense. So if you see my room, um, I'm surrounded by greenery. If you watch my room tour, I've tweaked some things, but I'm surrounded by, there's greenery everywhere. And my room is my, my happy place. I don't want to deviate away from the topic too much. I want to still connect with you and learning to open up and be vulnerable and talk and discovering how there's freedom that lies on the other side and eliminating fear is a part of that, you know? And you have to realize life is a journey. You're gonna be hurt, it's inevitable, but it's how you pick yourself back up and it's how you play the game. It's how smart you are in realizing that there's nothing new under the sun. So if you've been hurt before, just, just heed the warning signs, stay woke and pay attention to what's going on. So for the most part, that's all I have. I just wanted this to be really quick. I haven't been showing up because I've been overwhelmed with emotions and thoughts. I've been the type that's, I'm an introvert. I've been silent for so long and just opening up and doing a Facebook Live, talking about what I've experienced in my journey. So many doors have opened and I've just gained so much growth. And my mindset is not where it used to be a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. And that's, that's my goal in life is to be better than the person I was last week, the week before, the year before. So... If you want to join my journey with me to see how my growth goes along the way and see how therapy helps reshape me, subscribe below and I'll talk to you soon. Background details. I have gizmo that is inevitably very, very comfortable and gnawing on her bone right now. You see that? She don't care. She don't care. So that's going to be a little bit of the background sound for this video. Gizmo, there's not a quieter toy. Okay, it's just, I want her to live her life. I want her to be happy. She's happy. She's comfortable around me.